Since passwords first became a thing, we've all been trained to make up passwords that are really hard for humans to guess. Unfortunately, things that are hard for humans are pretty easy for computers to hack. And with what I have in this package, we're gonna fix that. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. This is a FIDO security key, and special thanks over to our friends over at Fatian Technologies for sending these over for review. So what is a FIDO security key, and how do they work? First thing is, FIDO does not stand for anything related to your dog. FIDO stands for the Fast Identity Online, and the parameters of FIDO are governed by the FIDO Alliance. And those would be principles like secure authentication, which is where you need a physical security key like this one with biometric protection, improved usability, which is that touch and go authentication experience, improved security because there's no shared secrets, and public key cryptography to ensure that secret information is not accessible by other parties. This all will lower your management costs because there's less calls to the help desk, better productivity for your users, and of course, better security and privacy. And since Fatian sent us three different security keys to review, we'll do one for Windows, one for our mobile device, and one for Azure AD. One last thing before we jump in, Fatian is sponsoring a giveaway with the Azure Academy, so I'm gonna have some hints for you throughout this video on how you can win, so stick with me right through the end so you can go passwordless. All right, let's start off with the Phaeton Biopass, and this comes in two different models. The K26, which has a USB Type-C connector, and this unit, which is the K27, that has a USB Type-A connector. And uh, this is a uh, all-metal design with a biometric sensor built right in. Overall, it's got a nice feel in the hand, nice premium quality to it and it also is the size of a standard USB key. And with the little loop up here at the top, you can put it on your keychain so that you don't lose it. And I'll just take my USB extension here and plug it right in. And then we've got the Windows settings panel open, so we'll just open that up to accounts. And then we'll go to sign in options on the left. And here we have security keys. Now this is the method for setting up your security key on Windows if you do not have a Microsoft account. Let's click on security keys over there on the left, and then you wanna click on manage. And there it wants us to touch our security key and our light here is flashing. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just use my thumb for this. And the first thing we'll have to do here is to set a pin, so click add, and then just type in your pin and then click okay. Then click over there to set up your security fingerprint. Into your pin one more time, click OK, and then go ahead and touch your fingerprint sensor. And then it wants to touch the sensor in all of the different ways here. And then you're all set and you can even go through the process again and add some more fingers. So for now, we'll click Done. Now in my case, I have a Microsoft account, so I want to set up my key for that. So on the left, let's go to your info. Then we wanna click the link here to manage my Microsoft account. At the top, let's click on security. And then we wanna click over here to do advanced security options. Now I've already got multiple security options set up, but we're gonna add a new one and that's gonna be for our security key. When you click the link, you get this little window. So choose use a security key. And then you have a few options. USB is the default, which is what we'll be using. And then you have NFC, which we'll get to later. Click next to get started. Then you get some messages here that this will be using my particular Microsoft account, as well as the make and model security key will all be stored inside your Microsoft account. And you'll be getting some tracking data based on who signs in, where they're from, all of that good stuff. So hit okay on those messages and then insert your security key. And now we need to set up a pin. And what I did off camera was I did a full reset on the key so it looks like you're starting from scratch for all of you who have Microsoft accounts. So I'll add my pin and then click OK. And then we just touch the bio sensor here and then we just need to give our key a name. And I'll call it the Fatian Biopass K27 and click Next. And we're all set up. So I'll click Got It. And then we can see it in our list of sign-in options. So let's do a test. Go to a private browser here and I'll just go to outlook.com and let me first unplug my security key and then click sign in. 
and I could type in my email and password, but instead I'll click this link to sign in with a security key, plug in my security key, and then I get prompted for my pin. So I'll put that in, hit OK, and then touch my biosensor. And now I'm logged into my account. So that's how to do security keys on Windows. Let's take a look at our next security key for mobile devices. Next, we have the IE Pass K44, and this will come in a nice cardboard box. So that's a eco-friendly material. And uh, there is no manual, so you've got to just go up here to ftsafe.com and download the manual. And we'll just open up the box there, and there is the security token. And this one has a lightning connector on the one side and then USB Type-C on the other. So this is good for any of your mobile devices that have USB Type-C or your iPhones. If you are an iPhone user like I am, then you can have your... K44 and plug that into your iPhone so that you can do your authentications. And then also you can use this on your regular computer that has USB type C, which mine do. So that means I just need the one token. And that's certainly a benefit. As far as the construction here, this is uh, feels like an aluminum material. And it again does feel nice in the hand. However, with the type C and the lightning here exposed, I would like to see caps on it like the uh, K26 and 27 do, because this cap is gonna help keep uh, some debris out of the USB connector, and uh, that would just be a nice thing to have. Also, because this is very small, you have a little key ring here for you to attach to, and uh, I don't know how flimsy that's gonna be over time going in your pocket or in your bag, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. So I've got my IE Pass here, and I've got my iPhone. So we've got everything shared on the screen so you can see what's going on. I'll open the App Store, and we want to download the IE Pass Manager. So I'll just click Get for that, and then we'll open the application, and we'll put in our device. And there we go, we're discovered. So it's the same basic process here. We wanna set a pin, then we click OK, and our pin has been set up successfully. And you could just as easily have set this up on your computer with USB-C and then used it on your phone. And we've gone to manage my Google account, and at the top we'll go to security, and then we'll go to our two-step verification, and put in my password and hit sign in, and then we'll scroll down to add a security key and we want our lightning connector here, so we'll choose USB. And it says to make sure that your key is not connected to your device yet, and click Next. And now's the point where we insert our key, and we get our green light on our key flashing, and then we can tap the button on the iPass, and then give it a name, and call it the IE Pass K44, and then hit Done. And there is our security key. So now that we've set up our Google services to work with our security key, you could sign in on the browser. But since we've already shown something like that already, I want to take this back to my computer and now sign in to my Google account through there using the same security key. So we'll click here to turn on sync and it wants us to sign in, put in my password, and there it's prompting me for my security tokens. So I'll put that in my USB-C port. And then I just need to press the button to authenticate and we are all set. And finally, we have the E-Pass and this is a FIDO NFC USB security key. So it'll work in your USB ports as well as anything that supports NFC, which is your near field communications. It's basically what makes your tap to pay to work and stuff like that. So you could use this on your mobile device by just holding it up to the sensor. So this can also be used on your mobile devices, which is nice. But uh, the one thing I gotta say is the material here being plastic, I wonder how durable that's gonna be over time. Especially if this is hanging on my key ring, how scratched up is the plastic gonna get? I'm not too sure about that, but let me know what you think. Also, depending on where you keep your phone and do you put it in your pocket, then do you put your NFC in the same pocket? That could have some unintended consequences. So be sure that you keep them separate so that something like that doesn't happen to you. 
So our third security key we're gonna set up in Azure Active Directory. So on the left, scroll down to security and we want to select our authentication methods. And here's where you can set up multi-factor authentication using your Microsoft Authenticator or text messages and also set up your FIDO security keys. And the setup here is pretty simple. Just set it to enable and then you can either do this for all users in your environment, which wouldn't be a half bad idea, or just select users and then you can do some testing once you're confident, then roll it out to everybody. And for this test, I'll just use it for the user Nova since I've only got one security key left. Now, before you hit save, click the configure at the top and we've got a few options here. Now, allow self-service setup will let the individual users set up and manage their own keys, which I would recommend for less management overhead, but the IT department can choose to do this as well. And then you just set that to no. And the rest of the settings here are all good. So let's hit save. And now Nova is ready to set up his token. And I'll open a new in private browser and I'll go to aka.ms forward slash my security info. And we'll need to sign in here. And we're signing in as Nova. And here at the top, we want to add a new security method. Then hit the drop down to select your method. And you can see we've got a few different options here. We, of course, want our security key. Go ahead and click add. And it's telling you that in order to set up your key, you first need two factor auth. So hit next. And you've got two methods here, the authenticator app on your phone, or you could receive a text message. I've completed the authentication and we're brought back to the security info window where we can choose how we're going to set up our token. Now, my computer does not have an NFC reader, but once we set this up, I'll be able to use NFC back on my phone. So for now, I'll set it up with USB. Have your key standing by and hit next. Just like before, hit OK on the two messages. Insert your new security key. Set up your pin. Click OK. And then touch the sensor on the security key. And everything has been created. So then touch the sensor again to authenticate. And then let's give our key a name. And this will be the Fatian ePass K9. And hit next. And we are all set. Nothing left to do but test it. Now using a different browser completely, we're gonna sign into the Azure portal with our security key. Just place your key into your USB port, enter your PIN. So that's already two factors of authentication. One is having the physical key, second is knowing the PIN, hit OK. And we're going to now touch the sensor and we will be authenticated into the Azure portal. And there we go. So the last things we need to go over here are the pricing around the keys and the details about the giveaway. Now, as far as cost goes here, the ePass FIDO NFC is $22.20 US. The IEPass K44 is $36 US. And the BioPass K27 is $60 US. And of course, they all have their own benefits. So which one is right for you? That will depend on what kind of devices you have. Do you want the biometric thumbprint security? Then go with the K27. If you want a device that can be for your mobile and for your desktop laptop, then the IE Pass could be good for you. And if you're in that same situation, you might want to go with the NFC, but that's uh, for USB-A and NFC for your mobiles. So there's something here for everybody. All right, let's talk about the giveaway here. Now, special thanks again to Fatian Technologies for supplying the three ePass K9 NFC compatible security keys for the giveaway. And here are the details. First, you need to be subscribed to the Azure Academy YouTube channel, and then follow me also on Twitter and LinkedIn. Right below the video, you're gonna wanna click that share button down there and then share this video on Twitter or LinkedIn, whichever platform you prefer. And there's what it looks like when you do this through Twitter. And you're going to want to add to the end of that hashtag the Azure Academy, hashtag passwordless, hashtag giveaway. Post that out into the universe and we will be drawing a winner at random from everyone who posted the video on social media. And we'll be selecting that winner real soon on August 31st and I'll be direct messaging the three winners and asking you for your information where I can mail the security keys. 
and this contest is worldwide, so feel free to enter, and all entries are free, no purchase necessary at all, completely free giveaway. So overall, these are a great solution for improving your security posture and helping to get rid of all of those pesky passwords that are easy for computers to crack and just go passwordless. So thanks for joining our review. Please comment down below with what you want me to review next or an idea for another video. In the meantime, we'll link over here to the latest video at the Azure Academy. Thanks for joining me again, and I will see you over in the next one. Happy learning.